All right, everybody, looks like I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. So in the this lab here, intercepting and interpreting network traffic, uh, in the second video of this lab, so there are two currently, right? There's an O1 and there's an O2. In the second video, after the 16 minute mark, it looks as if I accidentally muted myself. Honestly, I don't know what happened. Uh, that's the only thing that I can think of that I was on mute. So I'm going to re-record that section of the lab, okay, just so you can hear what I was doing. Now in that lab, we're using TCP dump to intercept SSH network traffic. Okay, we're intercepting SSH network traffic. Remember, this is a protocol that can be used for a bunch of different things. Most importantly, remote logins. It is an encrypted protocol. So let's go ahead and get the get through these instructions. We're on this machine now, PT1 Cali, you can see it here. Now what they want us to do is run this TCP dump command. All right, this TCP dump command is a command line tool. It's just like Wireshark, but Wireshark is a GUI. TCP dump is not a GUI, it's a command line tool. So we're gonna run dash VV, which is extra verbose. We're gonna intercept traffic that's going to this destination IP, which is why we have DST here and that is going over port 22 or SSH. So we're intercepting traffic from, we well, not intercepting. We are collecting traffic specifically going to this destination over this port. And we're gonna save that traffic to this file. All right, so before we do anything, let's go ahead and run that command. I'm gonna open up the terminal. Okay, and it should be TCP dump dash VV for extra verbosity. We want to capture traffic going to this IP. All right, capture, intercept, all the same thing. And port. So this is a this is a Boolean. It has to match this destination and this port. Okay, and port SSH, and we're gonna save it or write for dash W. We're gonna write to this PCAP file. All right, this is a PCAP file we're gonna create. It doesn't exist right now. Okay, so we're gonna run this. Now TCP dump is running. We may not see anything spit out on the screen because it's it's saving it to this file. So now we're gonna open up another terminal. Okay, I'm just gonna open up another tab. And we're gonna open up another terminal or tab and we're gonna SSH over to this destination IP. Okay, we're gonna use the SSH protocol to remote login into this IP using this account. So SSH root at 10.1.0.10. And we're gonna hit enter. Do we want to connect? Yes. Okay, since this is a new fingerprint that our system is not familiar with, it's asking us, are we sure we want to connect? So yes, we do. And it should store that fingerprint for us now, right? There you go. It's going to store it in a host file called authorized host. Now, password is P A dollar dollar W zero R D. Okay, now we're logged in using SSH. Okay, remember SSH uses keys. Our, it uses keys, public and private keys. So we've done this. Now, just to confirm that we are on this system, let's run host name that we're on a different system. Okay, we're on LX1. Okay, we're not on on um, Kali anymore. We SSH into this IP and the host name of that IP is LX1. The user, obviously, were root because that was the user account that we used here to log into that machine. Okay, so that's all we wanted to do so we can generate some traffic on TCP dump. So let's exit. Let's go back to TCP dump and stop this. Well, before you stop it, before you stop it, slow down, <laughs> slow down. Before you stop it, look at how much traffic it captured. All right, here's the size and bytes. And this is how much traffic it captured. When we first started it, it was at zero. So let's stop it with control C. It captured 72 packets 
based off of this filter. Okay, the filter was capturing traffic going to this destination IP and using port SSH or port 22. So we're going to upload this file that we just captured into Wireshark. Okay, if you wanted to look at it here, you can just, well, let's open it up in Wireshark. Let's stick to the script. So I'm going to double click Wireshark. Okay. You could have opened it up from the terminal if you wanted to. And we're going to go to file and we're going to go to open. And now we're going to look for that PCAT file that we saved, which is right here. And we're going to open this. Let's do that. Now let's look, I'm going to stretch this out a bit. Okay. So let's just look at the SSH traffic that we just captured. We just used TCP dump to capture this, this PCAP file, everything in this PCAP file, we use TCP dump for, okay? And we're using Wireshark to analyze it. So if you look at this traffic here, the first packet that was sent was a send packet, right? It's doing the three-way handshake. Send, ACK, okay? There is another SYN ACK and there's a whole bunch of other ACKs going on just to establish that connection. And then you can see that the Diffie-Hellman key exchange is being done, right? Why is the Diffie-Hellman key exchange being done? Because it's encrypting the session. All right, it's encrypting your session. Okay, where is this going to? What's the destination here? 10.1.0.10. Right. Obviously, all of this traffic is going to be to this destination because that is what our filter was set to capture on TTP dump. Now, if we just every time you click on something here, note this is the information in this panel and this panel is going to change because you're looking at the details of different packets. OK, you're looking at the details of different packets trying to slow down with the scroll it's going pretty fast let's use the arrow okay so right now i'm on packet number well the packet numbers don't necessarily matter um but i want you to look at look at this encrypted packet encrypted packet encrypted packet all right this is all after the diffie helmet key exchange has been initialized all right if you if you're not familiar with the diffie helmet key exchange Please head over to our website at olinesecurity.com and sign up for our next security fundamentals course. Okay, because we break that down into full, 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 full details. So, so after the diffie helmet key exchange has been done, you can see everything is encrypted. Right? Everything is encrypted. And if you if you go through all of these packets, you'll notice that. Let's order. Is this in order? Yeah, it is. If you go through all of these packets, you will notice that you can't really read anything. Right? If this was FTP, FTP traffic, you could read it. You'll be able to see the user authenticating. You'd be able to see their credentials. You'd be able to see their username, their password. But since this is SSH, which is using a secure protocol, you can't see it. All right? You can see the, the SSH version here. All right? You can see that, but you can't see any authentication, no credentials, nothing. All right? And if this is hard to read, let's right click one of these packets and let's go to follow TCP stream. Right click a packet, come down to follow, and go to TCP stream. Okay, this is everything that is going on regarding that SSH traffic. And you can't read anything here. If you were to follow the TCP stream for an FTP or for FTP traffic, you'd be able to read this. It'll be plain text. But all of this is cipher, right? We can't, at least I can. I, I don't understand what's going on here. I can't read it, right? I can get, obtain a little bit of information from here, right? In regards to maybe the cipher suites that are being used Okay, to do the key exchange, 
But other than that, I, I can't read this. I don't understand what's going on. So it says, spend a few minutes browsing the captured SSH traffic. Specifically, do you find any authentication credentials? No, we don't. Okay, were you able to read information about the root user, such as the password? No, we weren't. Okay, that was not visible to us. Okay, that was not visible at all. Now, here are some comprehensive questions. Okay, now this is going to be based off of a few other labs that were done. It says, which of the following answer best describes the content you viewed by using the TCP dump utility? Okay. I'm going to take a best guess, FTP and SSH traffic, because I know that we did look at SSH traffic just now. And I believe that we looked at FTP traffic in a, in one of the previous tasks. I was wrong. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it was probably SSH and FTP traffic and SS, HTTP and SSH traffic. Okay, cool. Good thing I had another chance. <laughs> All right, next one. Would an eavesdropper be able to intercept and read the contents of the web page on the MS1 virtual machine if the web server required HTTPS connection? No, because HTTPS is an encrypted protocol, right? It's using SSL or TLS to encrypt HTTP. Remember, we created, created a certificate to bind it over HTTPS so that it can be encrypted. So no. The contents will not be readable. All right. Now, that is it for this section, y'all. Please, 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 if you have any questions, please drop it down in the comments. If you'd like to run over these labs during one of our Cyber Thursdays, we would love to have you there. Please go ahead and just mention that in the comments, and I'll reach out to you. Or one of us, one of our Cyber advisors, will try to reach out to you, either via YouTube or if email. Um, if, if possible. Other than that, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'm really, 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 really grateful for everyone who's been leaving comments. You all have been leaving kind words. You've been hitting the like button. You you are the ones that are actually getting these videos and all of our content out to the world. So I'm really, really appreciative of that. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you all want to take your skills to the next level, whether it's Splunk skills, security skills or just you want to understand more about your security plus certification or you want to get into the field please go to our website check out our courses our security fundamentals courses for new people trying to get into the field our splunk incident response course is definitely a good one to get some splunk skills so that you can potentially land some type of sock or incident responder position other than that you all have a good one stay safe hold on to your loved ones make sure you give them a kiss and I will see you all next time. Take care.